Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5 of Gene's Reviews. Okay, this week I didn't have much time to actually get to watch a movie and like I said last week, I was going to try and do two or three videos every week so I think what I'm going to do is one of the ones that I do each week isn't necessarily going to be a review, it's going to be a recommend of a movie that I've seen in the past that I really think you should check out, that I really like. And the movie that I picked to do this week is from 1987. It's called Some Kind of Wonderful. It stars Eric Stoltz as Keith, Mary Stuart Masterson as Watts, Leah Thompson as Amanda Jones, and Craig Sheffers. Craig Sheffer stars as Hardy Jens. Okay, this was one of my favorite movies. I actually, I think I saw it probably three or four times when it hit the theaters in 1987. And uh, the movie is written and produced by John Hughes, but it's directed by Howard Deutsch. <clears throat> okay, the whole plot of this movie is uh, the part of Keith, Eric Stoltz, is kind of a working class kid. He's in high school, He's really artsy, but he kind of is giving up on all of that pretty much. And he thinks, you know, I'm going to have to just be a blue collar worker all my life. He's a mechanic. And it's, uh, well, anyways, here's the plot. I'm going to read the plot for you. The film is set against the strict social hierarchy of an American public high school. Blue collar mechanic Keith Nelson, played by Eric Stoltz, and his tomboyish friend, Watts, played by Mary Stuart Masterson, played awesomely, by the way, by Mary Stuart Masterson, aspire to improve their social standing. When Keith asks out the most popular and attractive girl in school, Amanda Jones, played by Leah Thompson, Watts realizes her feelings for him are much deeper. Watts tells Keith that Amanda will appreciate a good kisser and shows Keith how to kiss whereupon Keith is confused by his romantic feelings for both girls. He later uses his college fund with Watts in tow and selects a pair of earrings for Amanda. Meanwhile, Hardy Jens, Craig Sheffer, Amanda's ex-boyfriend from a wealthy neighborhood, plots trouble for Keith by inviting him and Amanda to a party after their date. Hardy jealously plans to have Keith beaten up. Keith finds out about the plot, believing Amanda to be a part of it, but goes ahead with the date anyway, spending the rest of his college money on an expensive dinner and roping in Watts as the chauffeur to help make the date special. At Jen's party, the timely arrival of other misfits saved Keith from taking a beating. One of the other mis misfits you'll recognize He's been in a lot of movies since this. His name is Elias Coteus. And he did an awesome job in this movie also. Let's see. They attempt to turn the tables and beat Jens instead. Keith tells Jens he is over and her over her, and Amanda slaps Jens' face. In the end, Amanda decides that she needs to learn to stand on her own, to find out who she is and make real friends. She returns the earrings that Keith gave to her. Keith, pleased with the result and realizing that he is in love with his best friend, bids Amanda goodbye with a kiss on the cheek after she urges him to go after Watts. Keith catches up to Watts and they kiss, whereupon Keith confesses to Watts that he had no idea how she really felt about him. Keith then gives Watts the earrings after she admitted that she wanted them the whole time, and Keith jokes that Watts knew she was going to get them, and she says that she hoped, but that she didn't know. Watts asks Keith how they look, and he replies, you look good wearing my future. Okay, I know that sounds a little sappy and everything, but... I, I, I absolutely loved this movie when I saw it. And it made me uh, really fall in love with Mary Stuart Masterson's character 
of watts. I would have, if I was his age at that time, I would have been going after watts rather than Amanda Jones anyway. <clears throat> Just because of the personality and everything. Everything about her. And I'm surprisingly rotten, well not really surprisingly I guess, Rotten Tomatoes gives the film an 80% critic rating based on 35 reviews. Roger Ebert of the Chicago, Chicago Sun-Times praised the film, calling it worthwhile and entertaining. Okay, this movie is streaming on a few different places, but it's not streaming for free. I think it's streaming on Amazon and Google. You can check it out. It's a very, very good movie. It's called Some Kind of Wonderful. Thank you for joining me on Episode 5 of Gene's Reviews. I'll see you next time on Episode 6. Have a good day.